Welcome back to my channel. My name is David. This is another unboxing. This one's going to be PC Peripherals Edition. Let's get started. Alright, so today we've got a special guest. Boom! I told I can't pay her. Just with love. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is power supply tester. You, need, you buy used things, sometimes it's good to test. And if you're having issues where your system shuts off on its own, you don't know if it's going to be your power supply is dying or you just don't have enough power. So that happened to me years ago. I had an old 350 watt power supply and it wasn't enough power for what I was doing to it. So what was happening is my system kept shutting down on me and I kept thinking it was the power supply was no good. I didn't have one of these things at the time. I ended up just buying another uh, power supply of 500 or 550. Actually, it's still the same one I use till this day. Years back, I bought a 650 watt, I think Rosewell, but I bought it at a flea market and I wanted to know if it worked. This thing only cost me five bucks. The way I saw it was I paid five dollars for the power supply. I don't know if it works. The guy wasn't sure if it worked. But with this, I'm gonna test it and see before I throw it in my system. Once I test it, I'll know if it's good. And if it's not, I'll just throw it out and I'll keep this for the future. It won't go to waste. This is another one of those multi-rebranded products. I bought this from China, so that's one of the reasons why it was so cheap. This part, I have no idea what this is. Okay. Clearly, you have your regular um, power input. Here's the main input for the uh, power supply itself. It powers off the power supply, so what you have to do is you have to plug it in. This part here is for fans and three and a half floppies. And then you have these other ones for the extra 24 volt or 12 volt input. And also the video card testing. Because the power supply has multiple breakdowns. It goes in as 120, splits up into 12 volt, 5 volt. So I know this works because I've already tried it when I first got it. Bought it from China. I usually try things just to make sure. This, this did light up. I powered it up with an old uh, piece of crap power supply that I bought. So here's another one. This is the second model. There's also another model that has USB 3 DVI and that one clearly is USB 3 and USB 2. The other one still works on the Windows 10. Um, because of the compatibility of Windows 10 is incredible. Like you can get almost anything to work on the Windows 10. They did a good job on that. This thing here, I haven't tried this one out. This is brand new. I bought this one from uh, Newegg. So I'm going to go on the limb and say uh, the first one that I have works on Windows 10. I can almost guarantee you this one will have no problem as, all, as well. So let's open it up. And you get the driver disk. So it, you're going to have to dig a little on the website unless you just go with the one you have and let Windows find the driver. Because Windows does look for the driver. The problem with Windows looking for the driver, they grab the first one that they seem to work and I like to grab the one that's supposed to work with it you know? so that's why I kind of rather look for it and if I don't have an option I just let Windows do it the LED indicator right here when you plug it in it's weird I don't see the adapter for this the other one came with the adapter but yeah it came with the adapter the other one I don't know why this one didn't come with it the converter adapter for this but if you're gonna buy the adapter don't buy the adapter that converts it just buy the cable that converts it it's it's only like two bucks more and it's a cleaner you know it's a cleaner look it's a cleaner straight it's just for me it's something I'd rather do but I bought this so you can have an extra monitor on the side so let's just go and say the other day on one of my videos I was explaining that I wanted to mount LCD screen kinda like a frame on the wall always be on always be displaying my stats on YouTube so what I would do is I would pretty much just have a cable running into that monitor hanging on the wall frame it out to make it look really clean and professional this guy would be more than enough to do because basically you're just going to be running stats on the screen. There's no gaming involved on it, nothing. But these, these are pretty cheap. If you buy this one, this one's very cheap. I think it was like $15 I paid for this. This is what you see here, right? This thing is all touch screen. I had one that wasn't an LCD screen and it wasn't touch screen. It was all manual and it, it had the old style... Uh, Kind of like calculated digits, I hate that shit. Since nobody uses any more uh, CD drives anymore except for me, this takes up two DINs. So you remove you remove the two DINs, the empty slots, the drives or whatever, and you slide the sucker in. You can take care of the temperature, you can take care of the fans. thing is like super awesome. I don't remember how much I paid for this. I know I bought it new or the, I think it was new, not used kind of thing, like open box. I plugged it in and I played around with it. I do remember it was not 
it was not captive it was resistive touch screen so basically when you do it you just have to push a little bit you know it's not like wicked sensitive like the phones nowadays it does run on a resistive screen so but it, for something like this I think it's fine I prefer a captive but I don't remember how much I, I know I got this from Canada I bought this from somebody from Canada so as you can see it is a pretty nice look for your PC so when it has like the graphs and everything here the temperature um, it goes Celsius Fahrenheit one two three four fans you can turn them up from here you have the temperature here for the CPU the VGA the hard drive the system itself whatever you press here sets up comes up on this side like me I'm gonna keep mine on the CPU Oh, fan speed this one is fan speed and if you like me and you don't want to spend $25 on a fan the fans and just run them a little less than what they're going for so if the fans are 12 volt and you run them at 9 you, it still has plenty of blowing power it's quieter but yeah this thing is pretty dope so it comes with all the cables yeah so this is gonna look really cool really excited about that this is directly from Antec now this one here supposedly works on my my uh, processor I bought this used but I got it like super cheap I know it works because I plugged it in and I could hear it circulating inside because it was still bubbles because once you unplug it and you start moving it around it creates a little bubble so in here there's like a certain kind of oil in there that keeps the, the CPU cool and then here the oil goes through the fins the fan blows through it cools it off and then it goes right back in this is like a no maintenance sol uh, solution I had another one but it definitely was an Antec it was something else alright so let's see so what would happen is this would plug to the, uh, the CPU there's different versions because of the CPU setting the way it sits on the board and it comes with all the attachments so you would mount this to your PC this would go on top of your chip you can, now you could even use these on your VGA as well whatever gets hotter which I think is going to be the CPU um, I'm going to do the custom loop for again and then the, the VGA I'm going to put a closed loop on so I'm still thinking about how I'm going to do that um, I'm definitely going to keep one of these for one of them so here's the fan that it comes with that's, a, that's actually a 120 this one's actually really quiet though the Antec ones are really good and these are all the fittings for the unit well this one is at, yeah this one's at the bottom of the uh, the board whichever one whatever processor you would have you'd have to buy it based on that one though because right now I when I bought this one I bought it based on my CPU that I have so once you mount this part in this guy right here fits in here and you clamp it in you, know, you clean this off with alcohol and then you put a nice drop of uh, the arctic uh, grease there like something like this you use I don't mind buying so here's the other thing I bought I have a 4k screen for my system but I don't run my games at 4k I still run a 1080p call me old-fashioned but I don't really want to spend you know four or five hundred dollars on a 4k video card I, to me I, I don't game the newest games I, I love the older games like right now um, I'm playing Doom 64 for the PC I got this like this guy because I have like multiple monitors set up what I want to do is I want to have my 50 inch and then my 24s on the side with the same image cut up so the way I'm gonna have my setup is like this you got the 24s here and you got the big one here so you're gonna have like a surrounding surround sound screens so this guy here will take one signal and it will split it into three 1080 it, it will literally take your image stretch it across three screens so that's why I bought this one the new video cards now do it but this does it clean it's one signal split into three instead of having three separate signals then you gotta go in and configure everything so that's why I bought this guy so this is a display port so when, if your video card has a display port you plug this into it it takes one signal in splits it into three I see it as a much cleaner solution this does all the processing power right here the box so basically your system is struggling for one image so as you can see it comes with a power supply this I, I bought new it comes with a power supply to power it it's gonna it needs it so the 5 volt 2.4 amps and a lot of the older games don't have that option where you can actually have multiple screens so this is my solution right here. I mean, your, your video card does have to have some some uh, power to it, but it's not like you have to go out and spend you know $400 on a video card to get that. Uh, it doesn't require no drivers. You can convert the output, the display ports, out to HDMI and out to VGA and DVI. You do need to get um, adaptive 
they can't be like just straight converters they have to have like a chip in it where it does like some sort of uh, conversion they do have to be active though imagine playing doom 64 three screens wrapped around you it's gonna be so freaking awesome so once i set this whole thing up you guys will see so like i said i'll leave all the links in the description if you guys want to check it out they'll be there if not thank you for watching all right, so that one's gonna wrap up another unboxing video. This one is a PC Peripherals Edition.